By relying solely on local food production, and again, most people did not have uh, much choice before modern transportation came along, uh, you end up putting all your uh, agricultural eggs in one geographical basket. And so what happened historically is that you would have problems from time to time, you know, uh, too much rain, not enough heat, uh, you might have a fungus problem that will decimate your potatoes or your wheat or what have you. And so, you know, one bad harvest, people could usually uh, get by, you know, you would eat less, uh, you, you, know, you would skip a meal a day for several months or what have you. Uh, but too bad harvest, you would have a famine, and which is why historically famines and starvation were a lot of humanity the world over. It didn't matter if you were living in a tropical agricultural system in a Nordic environment, uh, didn't matter how diversified uh, your local food supply was, you know, if you have a flood, uh, everything will be destroyed. If you have a drought, uh, you'll have the same problem. And so, if you look at the historical record, um, famine was only really defeated by the railroad and the steamship in the 19th century, because for the first time in human history, you could move large quantities of food affordably over long distances. And so what happened then is that, you know, some, uh, people will have bad years, but people in other locations will have good years, will have a bumper crop, which was also a problem historically, because if you had a bumper crop, then, of course, prices would fall and the producers would be unhappy, which is why, you know, you read accounts in the 19th century of peach producers throwing their peaches in a river. Why did they do that? Well, because everybody had a bumper crop and you could not get any, any money for your peaches. What happens today? Well, people who have bumper crops will ship their uh, their surplus to regions that have bad years and so it's just a, it's risk management 101 i mean what long distance transport modern long distance transportation made possible was to spread the risk of agricultural productions uh, the world over or if not the world over over ever larger uh, uh, surface areas mm -hmm.